Hello, my Virgos. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. This is Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal, then my web address is down below the video. And let's see, what were your issues with this relationship? Let's see, what were Virgo's issues with the relationship? Hmm. I think you guys feel like you were the one carrying all of the weight. Um, you were the one taking care of the other person. There was nobody taking care of you. Okay. You felt like you were just, um, you were carrying it. You were carrying it. Okay. Let's see what their past issues were with the relationship. Hmm. They weren't happy. They just weren't happy. Leo energy here. Hmm. They didn't really see that um, you guys were going anywhere. Let's see what's keeping you apart right now. I think you're feeling really sad, really regretful about some things. Um, maybe that, you know, even though you took care of this person financially, you supported them. Maybe there was a lack of affection here. And you're kind of like, yeah, it's like you're, you're focused on that. Feeling regretful, feeling sad, wishing you could take certain things back. Um, just really stuck in the past is what I'm feeling here. This was keeping you guys um, stagnant right now. Let's see what's keeping them from you. They're seeking their happiness. And um, again, they, they didn't feel like they had it with you. They're also seeking enlightenment. They're seeking the one for them. I feel like, you know, this person is looking for somebody that, um, that resembles, not really like physically resembles their father, but, um, has that strong, caring, secure, um, nature about them is what I'm feeling here. Not just that can somebody that can just take care of them, you know, financially with material things but somebody that loves them unconditionally is what i'm getting here let's see what's currently going on with you guys you are just you're tired you're tired um i feel like like you're feeling kind of beat up here you're feeling very beat up hmm but I also think that a lot of you are willing to go back into this connection and um, bear whatever issues you need to address whatever issues you need to hear. Let's see what's currently going on with them. Hmm. Some of them are actually moving. But I feel like this person is really, um, they've ended something here and they are going into a new cycle. They're entering into a new cycle. Now, if this is a person that you guys want to be with, um, I feel that they could very well start over with you. Because you have an ending here as well with that 10. And so if I feel like they're also here with the strength card, they're awakening. They are, there's information that they are gathering, finding out, realizing here. And some of that information may regard, may involve you. Like what you truly mean to them. Okay. So you guys could be entering into another cycle with this person for sure. Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Strong Leo energy here. I feel. 
for a lot of you okay either you guys can be um, have Leo in your chart be on the cusp or um, it's a fire sign that you guys are probably dealing with even cancer energy okay cancer Scorpio energy but um, hmm I think a lot of you you know you have this this stubbornness about you I think you know sometimes we don't want to really face our own um, shortcomings and so I think that is um, that is what you've been struggling with here but you are I feel like you are I feel like you are um, steadying yourself to really make a move here I, I truly feel like that I also feel like you guys um, are looking at how this person may have felt while they were with you um, that they didn't feel loved that they didn't feel like you know truly emotionally cared for and I think that is you know what is um, is changing in you here okay let's see what the influence is for them hmm they're just trying to have like this person has goals whoever this is they have all major arcana cards here this person has goal they're striving towards something here they want new everything new outlook new job new love um you know they they're just on this they're on this um they're embarking on something that is like life-changing for them is what i'm feeling with the magician being here okay i also feel like you guys feel like this person is um is not caring about you anymore i don't get that though i don't get that but i feel a lot of you think that okay <clears throat> let's see what's going on what's coming towards you in the near future hmm this person <laughs> I feel like this person is like all the memories of this person is flooding is flooding you um, it's like some of you probably have seen like their name um some other synchronicities like five 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 you know that is that is like that tower where you know you have this shake up something surprising comes out and it's like okay what just happened here but i feel like um this is this individual that you guys have coming in and I don't know if they're physically coming in, but um, if you haven't been thinking about them heavily, I feel like that is what's coming. You guys may even start to dream about this person here with the magician mirroring this um, because they're probably thinking about you as well. Now, the high priestess is not here, but I'm just, that's just something I'm getting that um, this is very strong energy between the two of you okay let's see what's coming in for for them look at this that fell out the ten of cups here complete and utter happiness piscean energy we have pisces cancer leo scorpio that is strong here okay strong here um but this person they're getting their happy back like I told you um, whatever they need to do I feel like they are going to do it they know how to do it and this is what's coming for them like the ultimate fulfillment okay and I feel like you guys will come together They will come together. I feel like they, whoever this is with the magician, 
um, they are probably the ones that's like spearheading this energetically okay they're spearheading this let's see what the blockage is for you guys I think you're just confused you you're like all in your head about you know what you need to do next um, how to do it even hmm worry you're worried if this can even happen I feel for a lot of you let's see what the blockage is for them hmm You know, they're not seeing things clearly, but we see here with the Eight of Swords, neither are you. So basically, it's like both of you have blinders on. You know exactly how you feel. You know how you feel. They know how they feel. But neither one of you is like really addressing really addressing what's going on and you know a lot of you guys to be honest with you um this may you may still be with this person and you guys are just like having some issues whether or not you are you know affectionate or not feeling like you know you're carrying all the burden in this relationship Because I don't see like this this breakup, but I do see like some issues here. Like, you know, somebody may be all in their head and not really voicing how they feel um, in the same here. Somebody being very secretive, even. This energy can go vice versa, guys, okay? Let's see what the advice is for you guys. Seven of Pentacles for you. Um, the advice for you is to do nothing. Wait. Wait and see what you have actually put out there, what you have actually done. Um, to see if it brings in what, what you are seeking, what you're looking for here. Um, I feel like it's to stay hopeful as well because I think you're worried here about whether or not this can work out. Don't do anything, okay? Because here again, look at all these majors. The only card that's not a major here is the Ten of Cups, okay? So there's a lot of exterior energy going on around the other individual that is, um, is kind of like pushing them to realize certain things here, okay? Because the sun and the moon, this, this is opposite energy. Um, they're trying to see through the haze here. They're trying to be strong enough to invite in this enlightenment. So they can enter into a new cycle and have this Ten of Cups here. Okay? This is what they're trying to do. For you guys, my Virgos, do nothing. Do nothing. This person is the reason why... I feel like you guys are, um, you're, you're unhappy because you feel like that maybe, you know, there was a lack of emotion here. Maybe there were things that you could have done better. But I feel you guys have very strong connection here. So let's see um, what their advice is. To pick it up and let's go on let's move forward let's do this thing okay let's do this thing stop being paranoid um stop saying that you can't give anymore you can't do anymore they need to um finish this is what i'm getting here they need to finish this let's see what the outcome is for you guys hmm I think you guys will start over again. I think you will continue to build on yourself. Um, I think that, you know, there's also some things that you are realizing here. 
okay um, something you've just realized that could be very lucrative for you let's see if I can get this in the camera outcome for them I think that they will realize hey we still have a very strong connection here I think you will accept this person if they come back which I think that they're working on it they are working on it here okay with this two of cups this nine of wands it's like they are mustering up the strength to say hey this is worth it I am wanting to finish this okay so that is what I have for my Virgo friends and I will be speaking with you guys soon.